because uh, you're in a university where they know everything. And when the chairman of the occasion, His Excellency Peter Obiha, spoke, he told us about ethics. And you know, he read philosophy. So when philosophers had made the remarks, and uh, the vice president of the premier university has also spoken, then if they ask you to speak, you'll we'll actually want to ask them to pass the cup. But I tried to pass the cup, but I didn't succeed. So here, I, here am I. But you know, it's interesting to be part of a lecture series in our institution. It's interesting because we are discussing ethics. And most institutions seem to have abandoned what universities are supposed to be. So I want to thank the center, I want to thank the university for hosting this and for inviting us. A couple of years ago, I was on a trip to America, so while I got in the plane, I met His Excellency then Governor of Guyana State, we were headed to Washington together from the So when we got to, I think it's Dallas in Florida, there's a tram that takes you on arrival before you get to the arrival hall. So normally there was a, there was always a, a slight struggle. So he had one big suitcase and another suitcase. So I wanted to help him. He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> And I said, which governor is this one that no one wants anybody to help me? So I became more curious. He didn't let me help him. So today, as he was coming to make his remark, his head tried to move his chair. I'm sure because I was close, I heard. He almost went ballistic that he tried to push his chair for him. So when I became deputy governor, that didn't, I, did, I didn't lose sight, I didn't lose memory of my encounter with him. So I have tried to carry my bag at all times, fighting with my kids and fighting with my <laughs> Because I tell them, if, I, if I, I'm not sick and you have your bag, carry yours, I carry mine. But I actually learned it from him on the tram as we were connecting from the arrival to the arrival hall in Washington. But I'm sure he has forgotten. When we discuss the failure of society, and we talk about decadence, depreciation of who we are, devaluation of the human dignity, occasioned by um, ethics going down. I want the university that hosting us today to go back to herself and reinterrogate herself. Because most of the people who are in positions of leadership, both in government, in business, in families, and everywhere, most of us say we are educated and we are graduates. And I'm sure this university, as rightly pointed out by the uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor, was created to restore the dignity of man. And we can restore the dignity of man if those values that society depends on to become what society should be are sleeping from us. The time was, I used to come to this university when my uncle was living at Oba Road. I would come from the village to visit him. And we would come to this university because uh, a tap was running on almost in front of all the hostels. We would come to do laundry and all that. But something will happen. After the laundry, we would wait a bit for the things we wash to dry so that it will not be heavy for us to get back and carry them. We will now come to play football in one of the fields. I can't remember which one now. But we will play football with kids from the university community. Then some will ask their colleagues, their friends, oh, have your father started to work? They said no. I became interested in wanting to know why. I realized from the boy I was playing football with that they had just returned from studies, I think, from America. But the University of Nigeria, the same ground where we are, had subjected the other spaces to re-verification before he can come back to lecture. 
But today, the same lecturers, those of us that graduated from the of Nigeria, send our children to Ghana to get education. It has become a class thing to send kids to England and America to get education. Then, if I walk through to ask them from their house, after greenhouse, the whole, both left and right, you see cattle everywhere, grazing. Saturdays, trucks, pickups come from all parts of Anambra as it then was to come for eggs and things produced by the biodiversity department. I'm not sure we've lost part of our land. What we've lost is either the same leadership or our ethics has eluded us. There is so much the university can help us with. There is so much that we can deal with. There is so much we must teach ourselves, teach each other. And only this university and her brother institutions can help us. So I want to thank the center and I want to thank all of us that are here. But we must live here committed to becoming better citizens. We must live here committed to showing leadership in whatever assignment either society gives us or God gives us. Because we are all leaders in our respective strengths, in families, in our social clubs, in our churches. We all lead. We talk about transparency, accountability. As a matter of fact, when you are deputy governor and you finish as deputy governor, even now I'm deputy governor for only three months, some people will say, ah, is that how your own deputy governor is? How come you're not able to solve all our problems? Someone asks you for money and you don't have money, you say, oh, I don't have money now, then you must be stupid. That's not how deputy governors are supposed to be. So we put pressure on the same people. We expect not to watch the team of state to provide services for us. But if all of us work together and make a needed sacrifice and create a society where we have a functional health system, functional education system, where nobody expects that you need to steal public funds for you to have access to good medical, where you don't need to struggle to steal public funds for you to, your children to have good education, because there is access for everybody. At that point, we will, have, we will be telling ourselves that we will have revived the debt lost. So I don't want to take much of our time because we are going to learn from the lecturer. But when we learn, I want to plead with all of us to implement the knowledge we get today. God bless you and thank you for inviting us. God bless you. 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 God bless you.